Hello everyone, welcome to the channel and today I'm going to show you how to download NDMI image in Google Earth Engine and visualize the image in ArcGIS. So let's get started. So what is Normalized Difference Moisture Index? The Normalized Difference Moisture Index is used to determine the vegetation water content. It is calculated as a ratio between NIR and short wave infrared values in the traditional fashion. So now we can able to visualize the formula for NDMI, NDMI that is Normalized Difference Moisture Index that is band 5 minus band 6 divided by band 5 plus band 6 in Landsat 8 and Landsat 9. So now let me explain about few things about NDMI. So basically we're going to do is download NDMI, NDMI, NDMI made using uh, Google Earth Engine and visualize in ArcGIS. So this is a formula for NDMI. So that is, so that is uh, near infrared minus short, infra, short wave infrared divided by near infrared plus short wave infrared. So the NDMI value typically ranges from minus 1 to plus 1 but the negative value indicates the dry or the stressed vegetation. The values close to the zero indicates the moderate moisture content and the positive value indicates the healthier and more water rich vegetation. So NDMI is widely used in various applications including agriculture to monitor the crop health and assess the water stress. So enabling the farmers to optimize the irrigation and manage the field more efficiently. And forestry, it can be used to monitor the moisture content of the forest and aiding in the detection of potential wildfire risk. The environmental monitoring, NDMI is employed to track the changes in wetland ecosystem, water bodies and other natural habitats, helping assess assessing their health and potential impact on climate change. The drought monitoring, the index is used to assess the severity and spatial extent of the drought condition in different regions. And land management support the land use planning, vegetation mapping and management decision related to natural resources. At last, the disaster management. It can be utilized to assess the impact of the natural disasters like floods or landslides on vegetation and overall ecosystem health. So now let me get back to Earth Engine. So to perform NDMI in Google Earth Engine and visualize an image in ArcGIS. So to perform NDMI, first we need to import our Landsat 8 image into Earth Engine. For that, we define a variable called L8 that equals to double dot image collection Landsat 8 collection 1 tire 1 top of the atmosphere and to get the lead cloud contaminated image, we are using a variable called image 2020 equals to double dot image and L8 here refers to our Landsat 8 dot filter bound points here refers to our variable called points but the poly represents the polygon that is this particular one the red color one this is our boundary polygon uh, representing the variable point with four vertices so we are defined as a study area boundary so for that we define landsat dot filter bound this is our study region that is represent this particular red boundary red polygon and to filter with a specific timeline, we have defined the date that is 2020 January 1 to 2020 December 31st. And to uh, get the image with the least cloud contamination, we define dot sort cloud cover. And dot first function represents the image with the least cloud contaminated image. And to review the details of this image, we define print image 2020 dot to float function. Next, to perform the normalized difference moisture index, we defined a variable called B6. So we are using band 6 and band 5 to perform the normalized difference moisture index in using Landsat 8 image. So for that, so for that we define a variable called B6 equals to image 2020.select band 6. So we're going to select the band 6 from Landsat 8. So here you can able to visualize that is uh, the short wave infrared are represented in the band 6 and similarly the near infrared is represented as a band 5 which is indicated here the near infrared minus short wave infrared divided by the near infrared plus short wave infrared that is represented as a band 5 minus band 6 divided by the band 5 plus band 6. So to perform the normalized difference moisture index if we defined a variable called NDMI 2020 equals to band 5 dot subtract band 6 dot divide band 5 dot add band 6 and rename as output the lay name as NDMI that is normalized difference moisture index. So to next to display the result we define map.center object image 2020 so referring to our this particular image called that is our Landsat 8 image. So we are specifying 9 as a zoom scale and next we defined 
the visualization parameter for our NDV, NDMI image. For that, we defined a variable called NDMI params. Represents visualization parameter equals to we set a minimum value of minus one and to a maximum value of plus one. We are selecting the color palettes in this sequence starting from red, yellow, and green. So here the red represents the lowest NDMI value and the green represents the highest NDMI value. That is highest moisture index that represented in green. And similarly, we defined a visualization parameter for our Landsat 8 image. So for that, we defined a variable called visparam true, that is true color composite, equals to bands, band 4, band 3, and band 2. We set a minimum value of to 0 and to a maximum value of 3000 and we are setting a gamma value around 1.4. So now to add this uh, NDMI layer into earth engine we defined map.add layer NDMI 2020 NDMI params. So NDMI params represents our visualization parameter for our NDMI image. And to output the layer name as NDMI image 2020. So next to add the layer to add our Landsat 8 image we defined map.add layer image 2020 vis param true and output the layer name, layer name as Landsat 8 image. Now to export or to download our uh, NDMI image to our Google Drive, we defined the export.image.toDrive and image NDMI 2020.2 float function. And the description we defined as NDMI image 2020 polygon. The output the layer name output the output image name is we defined as NDMI image 2020 polygon. And the spatial resolution is represented in the 30, that is 30 meter resolution, that is represented as 30. And the region here represents our point, the variable point, that is our polygon, the specific uh, polygon represented in red. And we set to a map pixel level, uh, we set a maximum pixel level of 1 is to 10 power 13. So now let us run this code. So let me reset this values and click this option called run script to run the script. So now we can able to visualize we have two different layer one layer is the Landsat 8 image and the second layer is the NDMI image. So now let us click this Landsat 8 image layer click this option. So we are now we have a Landsat 8 image visualization parameter. We're going to select the bands uh, three bands. So now we're going to select in this order that is band 4, band 3 and band 2. So now we're going to select this option called custom and in that we're going to select stretch to sigma and you're going to apply this. So now let us visualize our image in true color composite. So now we can able to visualize our Landsat 8 image or visualized in, in uh, true color composite. You can visualize it now. So now you can visualize that. And similarly you can also visualize our NDMI image. So below that we have our NDMI image. So now let me uh, turn off this boundary layer that is our polygon boundary. Go to the geometry imports. Click this option. Remove the tick mark. So now we can able to visualize our NDMI image. So in this you can able to visualize the green represents the highest NDMI that is highest moisture index that is represented in green color as sh shown previously that is so we can able to visualize the color composition that is the green represents the highest moisture index and similarly the red represents the lowest moisture index. So the green represents the highest moisture index so we can clearly able to view in this part of the region that is indicated in a high green color. So that represents the high moisture index. So we can also confirm it just by turning off this layer and go to the satellite board. So now we can uh, let me turn off this NDMI image. So now we can visualize here there is a river running over here. So that, let me zoom into the study region. So we can able to visualize there is a river that is running across. There is a cause for the high uh, uh, moisture index in this particular region. So that is represented in green color. And similarly, you can visualize the red part of the region it indicates the lower moisture index. So here you can able to visualize the reddish area represents the lower moisture index. And similarly, you can able to visualize this part of the region has a very high green color that might be indicating a water body. So now let me turn off, turn this off. So you can visualize it now. So it is a water body. So you can able to visualize the color here. There is an indication of water, uh, water bodies here. So now let me turn on the layer of NDMI and similarly towards this part of the study region you can visualize there is higher uh, green color that is indicated here which indicates a higher moisture index. So now let me turn off this layer 
So now you can able to visualize this is the lake and let me turn on turn this on. So now let us uh, download this NDMI image and visualize in our ArcGIS. So for that let us go to the option called uh, console section that is task section. So now we can able to visualize here an option called NDMI image 2020 polygon. So now let me run this to download our NDMI image from Google Earth Engine. So here the task name is NDMI image and coordinate reference system, spatial resolution, drive. We're going to upload to our Google Drive. So that is indicated here. We can also upload your file to our Earth Engine assets. So now I'm going to upload to my drive. So uh, in GeoTIFF file format, let me click run. So now we can able to visualize in this part of the section. Currently the image is being exported to our Google Drive. So you have to wait for a few minutes to export uh, this NDMI image to our Google Drive. So now we can able to visualize in the task section we have our downloaded our NDMI image 2020 polygon. So now we can be able to visualize it. So it took around 3 minutes to download. That is it has been exported to our Google Drive. So now let me open my Google Drive. So now we can able to visualize it. Let me uh, refresh it. So now we can able to visualize we have our NDMI image 2020 polygon. So now let me download it. Download this. So for that right click and click this option called uh, download. So now it is asking the place to uh, it's going to download. So I'm going to select the folder location. So it is NDMI image 2020 polygon. So you're going to save this in this part of the location. So now you can able to visualize our NDMI image has been downloaded. It is around 42.3 MB. So now let us open our NDMI image in ArcGIS. So let's get started. So now you can able to visualize this is ArcGIS desktop where uh, let us uh, our add our NDMI image to ArcGIS. So go to the option called add data. Click add data. So now we can able to visualize we have our image NDMI image 2020 polygon. So now let me click this and click this option called add. So now uh, create a parameter for NDMI. Yes. So now we can able to visualize we have our downloaded our NDMI image from Google Earth Engine and we're going to be visualizing our NDMI. So now let me change the color here. Add some uh, different color ramp. So now let me uh, click this particular option. So click OK. So now here you can able to visualize our NDMI image. So the value is varying from minus 0 0.7892 plus 0 0.731. So we can specifically able to visualize here it is NDMI that is normalized difference moisture index that is the river traces you can able to observe here this part of the region gets highlighted in green color which indicates of high NDMI value. So we can visualize here the green indicates high moisture index similarly the red indicates the lower moisture index. So this part of the region has a very high moisture index you can able to observe in the green color similarly and towards the south uh, west you can observe there is a higher uh, moisture index and similarly towards the north uh, west northwest part of the region so the red indicates the lowest uh, lower moisture index and green indicates the high moisture index so now we have downloaded our uh, ndmi image in google earth engine and visualized in arcgis so now let me get back to earth engine so now uh, in this video i have shown you how to download ndmi image in google earth engine and visualize the ndmi image in arcgis so thanks for watching and please subscribe to our channel and give us a like.